do suppliers provide warranties? Um, um, well, if you buy your product from a wholesaler in Australia, then you're likely to have some legal recourse if something goes wrong. Notice that wording, legal recourse, because you're unlikely to get a warranty. You're not likely to get that anywhere. But there's a difference between having a warranty and having legal recourse. So legal recourse, all that means is you've got the potential to go to your supplier in Australia and say to them, hey, look, we've had a problem with the product that you sold me. Um, it's going to the lawyers are getting involved. There's there's going to be some legal troubles. Versus, um, you buy a product from China, and you say that to somebody in China, and they're basically just going to laugh at you because they realise, rightly so, that the legal recourse that they are they're granting you is basically zero, simply by virtue of the fact that um, cross-country litigation is ludicrously, prohibitively expensive and also very, very difficult because the law surrounding product liability in China, for instance, is much, much different than the laws surrounding product liability in Australia. So it's better to think that you don't have any legal recourse because really, in, for all intents and purposes, you don't. So where does that leave you? Well, that's going to depend. I currently um, sell in lots and lots of different marketplaces, but let's take Amazon.com versus Amazon in here in Australia. So in America, they are, as you would know, a lot more litigious than we are here in Australia. And so it makes sense if you're selling products in America that could be harmful under certain situations, it makes sense to cover your ass without a doubt. So what are those kind of situations? Well, if you're selling baby related products, I I'd, I'd definitely consider it. If you're selling things that are ingestible or topical, I would certainly consider it as well. Here in Australia, um, if you have, so let's talk about liability now. And again, I ain't no lawyer, I ain't no accountant, this is what I do. So now we're talking about liability. So here in Australia, I've got a PTY LTD company set up to sell things on Amazon. Uh, and that company doesn't own anything at all. It's simply a trading company. So if it ever gets sued, God forbid, then um, none of the hard assets that I have put together um, are come under threat because it's a trading company, that's all it does. So you get a level of protection for yourself by having a PTY LTD company, which in and of itself ought to be a good enough reason to get one. But I also as well, for... Uh, three products here in Australia, which are all ingestible products, so things you eat, things you put in your mouth, have product liability insurance for those as well. So, and for that, I use Allianz for my product liability insurance. I don't have it for all of my products because I don't believe it necessary, but for the products that are high risk products, I think it's um, prudent to protect yourself as much as you possibly can. So that's that asset protection strategies. But if you own nothing, uh, if you own nothing, then really, you know, what's what's the worst that can happen? So I'm not sure that's a good piece of advice or not, but certainly that's something to think about. That's something to think about. So Brad, that's what I do. Hope that helps. <laughs> 
Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.